<laughs> Bam! EVH fifty one fifty review time. What's up guys, Dave from Six Strings Stanger coming at you again from this channel that I've created. So, EVH 5150. Awesome pedal. Comes in this nice little box. Yeah, yeah we'll take care of that later. <laughs> uh, first thing I'm going to say, nice pedal, great tones, really nice. The only problem is, the only problem I have with it, is you don't get a power supply with the freaking pedal. Okay? If you're gonna produce a pedal that costs a paycheck, let's include just a $15 adapter, please. Please! All these newer pedals that are coming out, they're like a paycheck's worth of a freaking pedal, and they won't include a freaking plug. I mean, yeah, you got a 9 volt battery here you could put in there, but a plug! Come on, man! It's a $15 item. Big deal, right? But anyway, let's give a close up of this bad boy and then we'll get right to the sounds. Already? Okay, guys, here it is. Uh, real quick and up close. Uh, first off, here, over here, you have your output. And you got your bass, middle, and treble. You got a gain. You have a boost switch, which. Quite honestly, you're not really going to notice much difference. It's, it's going to maybe give you a slight brighter sound. Uh, you probably won't be able to tell it over the video, but it's there anyway. And of course, you got your on-off switch there. Over here, this is a noise gate, which is very nice because uh, this is a high-gain pedal. So if you don't know what a noise gate is, Basically, if you have your uh, your output set pretty high, you got your gain up quite a bit, and if you ever had that problem with feedback, uh, pretty much when the note dies off, this will light up, which entails just taking away the rest of your like the feedback sound. You wouldn't have the feedback sound; you just have the you know just the hushness of the amp, so to speak, I guess. But uh, so that that's what the noise gate is. It's very nice. Um, the higher you turn it up the more, I guess, sensitive it is, and the lower that it is, uh, you know, it just doesn't want to do it very well. So, and then real quick here on the back side, we will show you this, okay? You see output and input, and those, that's where your guitar cables go, and right here is that lovely, doubly thing here. I know why they put it on there. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're, we'll just send a uh, little pedal, but we won't send you any cord for it. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. Real funny, real funny MXR. That's good stuff, buddy. And then, uh, of course, your 9 volt battery, a little place in here. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I will be using a power supply that I have. Um, so, you know, that would probably be advisable. Okay, no more talking. Let's get right into it. And uh, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, alrighty. Okay, yeah, guys, I think we're ready to roll here. So, um, I am hooked into a Marshall DSL 100 watt head. And I also have, I'm very much equipped with the Epiphone Les Paul. Uh, I believe it's a standard. Um, so, yeah. And it has uh, JB pickups in it. So, here is my clean sound. Just gonna hit this when I, when you see me go over to this boost button right now it is not engaged so everything you hear will not be engaged when I hit it it will be engaged so like I said you may or may not hear any difference at all it's very very subtle so let's go ahead and go through on the amp on the uh, bass middle and treble I have everything set at 12 o'clock so you can get the most natural tone out of this amp or out of this amp <laughs> well it's kind of an amp in a box so but uh, 
So here, over here on the amp, I have uh, the presence at 12 o'clock also. And now the resonance, I do have all the way up. You know, give me a little brighter sound that way, but... So, enough talking. Shut up, Dave! Let's hear the pedal! Okay, so there's a clean. And let's go right into it, okay? You'll see this thing light up. That means that the noise gate works, so in case you're wondering why I'm working it. Okay, here we go.
those guys. EVH 5150 overdrive pedal. Sounds really good. Um, I hope on the video uh, it sounds halfway decent. Um, again, I don't have the uh, ability to record to a actual computer to get the actual sound. Um, you know, I try to pinpoint it as close as I can to make the you know the camera sound good in the room. So hopefully it did it justice. Um, do I like this pedal? Yes, I like the pedal. Like I told you, the only drawback is you're going to be disappointed when you get the box because it ain't going to gore, for God's sake. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. And uh, hey, guys, you know what? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me, okay? I just noticed something. I am not kidding. These uh, little lines here on the dials, they glow in the dark, man. That's cool. I didn't realize that. That's just cool because I had it bent this way and it kind of illuminated a little bit or eliminated or whatever you call it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That way when the lights are down or you're playing or something, you can see where your settings are. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, check one out. They're awesome. And we'll see you next time on Six String Sanger. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, please. I'll see you next time. Later, guys. Rock on. It's all about the music. Don't forget about that. All right. See you guys. Later.